Periwinkle, the perfectionist, tends to her topiary garden daily, snipping and clipping until nightfall. Exhausted from a long day's work, she falls asleep on the little bench beside the magical rose topiary tree. For this week's miniature art tutorial, I'll be making miniature topiary trees in hand-sculpted miniature pots. That's a lot of miniature. Stick around for the whole video because the magic happens at the end. This is certainly Caroline with more Palmer Clay fairy tale nonsense. Create your own fairy tale world with my weekly miniature art tutorials. As always, I'll provide a link to the supply list in the description below. Periwinkle's Topiary Tutorial. Loosely mix together a large amount of gray and a little olive green Palmer clay till you get a marbly look. I found this little terracotta pot at my local hobby store. Dust the terracotta pot with cornstarch and then stuff your clay mixture inside the pot. Use the terracotta pot like a mold and push the clay into shape using a razor to trim the edge. And then bake. After it cools, sand it, and then decorate. I think you're going to like how the miniature pot feels in your hand when it's done baking. It even feels heavy considering how little it is. Make a leaf shape out of the clay mixture and find a leaf from your yard and press it into the clay. Then use a little liquid clay to secure the leaves to your miniature pot. And then bake again. Paint the pot black wipe it off, and then sand it. I'll go over that process in more detail later in the video. To make the topiary tree, get a stick from your yard and use a hot glue gun to attach clumps of the moss to the stick, building it up into a topiary shape. You can start with the hot glue gun, but you definitely want to finish with this glue. If you keep going with the hot glue gun, you're going to get frustrated because it becomes impossible to hide the glue. Fabri-Tac dries clear. It's an excellent glue choice for this project. You could just use the Fabri-Tac and forget the hot glue gun altogether. I use the hot glue gun for starters to make the process go a little quicker. You can secure the topiary into its pot with a hot glue gun and then fill the pot with dirt, gravel, or moss. Mr. Stone's Topiary Tips Periwinkle was never alone in her topiary garden. The fuzzy caterpillar always came to her rescue to help trim the hedges, and she enjoyed lengthy conversations with Mr. Stone who happened to be an accomplished artist. Mr. Stone had an eccentric vault on nature, though. But that made him all the more interesting to the little fairy. And Mr. Stone had secrets. First of all, he wasn't made from stone at all, but from Palmer clay. And a little bit of magic. And because he was such a little thing, he had room for only two emotions. He was either inexplicably happy or he was exceedingly sad. Make a mold from the terracotta pot. Push the clay into the mold, shaping it with a tool and your thumb. Make it the thickness you want and then bake it. Yes, you can bake the clay with the mold. After baking, remove it from the mold and sand it. Use a little liquid clay to secure one of the sculpted faces to the pot and then bake again. You'll be tempted to skip baking the face onto the pot, but if you do, you'll find the face slides all over the place with the liquid clay. It's best to set the face in place by baking it first and then decorate. Secure the decorations with liquid clay and bake again. Repeat the process for the other side. Once the pot has cooled, paint it black. I use Genesis heat set paints for this step because this kind of paint doesn't set until it's baked. After painting, thin it out by brushing on some Genesis thinning medium. Then go ahead and wipe most of it off with a paper towel. Because I tend to be on the frugal side, I don't always keep paper towel in the cupboard. So when I do have it, I especially am thankful. So in honor of paper towel, here is my paper towel fairy garden. We actually had it in the house, so of course I had to make a fairy garden out of it. You can use acrylic paint, but you'll want to work in small sections so the acrylic doesn't dry before you get a chance to wipe it off. Once the paint is dry, carefully and thoroughly sand it. To make the rose topiary, find a stick and wrap a ball of tinfoil around it. Wrap the tinfoil in masking tape. 
Use a little masking tape to secure the ball to the stick, then paint the ball black with acrylic paint. This is preserved boxwood, but you can get a similar look with dried eucalyptus. Remove some leaves from the stems and hold a group of the leaves together while cutting them in half. You'll be able to use both halves for the project, so don't throw anything away. Once again, you can start off with a hot glue gun, but you're going to want to finish with Fabri-Tac. If you don't, you're going to find it very hard to hide the glue. I use dried miniature rosebuds for my topiary. Miniature ribbon roses will also look really good. And that's it. DIY miniature pots for DIY miniature topiary trees. The perfect combination of cute and charming. Hey, if you like this video, click the like button. And if you have any questions, please ask away. I love to hear from you guys. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe to my strange little world of Palmer Clay fairy tales.